a video made on behalf of the Melanoma Foundation of New Zealand. My name is Paul Jarrett and I'm a dermatologist. In the fight against melanoma, it's important that you regularly examine your own skin. Commit to it. Do it monthly. Today, we're going to show you how to do this in a short video. Remember the A, B, C, D rule. Melanomas are asymmetric. Borders are irregular. Colours are many. Diameter usually bigger than 6 millimetres, perhaps slightly larger than the diameter of a pencil. I'd like to introduce you to Terry. Terry is our volunteer. Terry is going to show you how to examine your own skin. Thank you, Terry. To start with, Terry will look in the mirror and scan his skin generally, looking at his chest and legs. After having a general look, Terry is going to start to examine himself, initially with his hands. If you're wearing a watch, take it off. He'll bring them up to his face, turn them round, and have a look at them in the mirror as well. He'll then lift his arms up straight, and look particularly under the armpits, and the upper areas that he wasn't able to see previously. He'll then put his arms down by his side, twist his arms inwards, looking at all of the skin, and then outwards, again looking at all of the skin. Once we've done the arms, we're going to move to his upper body, to start with his neck and upper shoulders. He'll look across systematically, he'll then move to his chest, and then down to his tummy. Look methodically across all of these areas. Once we've done the upper body, Terry's going to look at his legs now. Terry will lift up the boxes so he can look at the areas that are exposed. Look at the upper part of the legs first. Remember to do both of them. Look at the middle of the legs around your knees and then look at your lower legs as well, and the feet. You have to remember, when you're looking at the feet, don't forget the soles of your feet. That's a sneaky area where melanoma can hide. So Terry will look firstly at his right sole, and then at the left sole. When you're down looking at the soles of the feet, don't forget to look at the spaces between your toes. That's a sneaky area where melanoma can hide. Look at all of the spaces methodically on both feet. Once you've done the feet, we're now going to look at the back. It's difficult when you're on your own. A mirror will help. So to look at the back, Terry will firstly turn slightly obliquely and look over his shoulder. Again, look methodically. Look at the upper back, middle back, and lower back. You can also look at the legs as well. He'll step his left leg forward, carefully examining both of the legs. He'll then twist around to look at the other side and do exactly the same. He'll look at his upper back, middle back, and lower back, just as the same, the same as he did before. We'll also look at his legs. He stepped one leg forward to look at those areas that were previously hidden. He look at the upper, middle, and lower parts of his leg. Now we've done the front and the back and the sole of the feet. It's important to concentrate on the face next. Stand in front of the mirror, and again we're going to look zone by zone. To start with. Look at the upper face, particularly the forehead. Pull your hair back and look patiently and carefully. Look at the middle of the face. Look across from cheek to nose to cheek. You may need to stretch the skin, particularly around the side of the nose. Then look at the lower part of the face. Look at the jawline, the mouth and the lips. You may need to move your head from side to side to get the best view. 
Once you've done the easy areas, it's possible but more difficult to look at the ears. With practice and a handheld mirror, you can look at bits of you that you might not have seen before. To look behind the ear, pull the ear forward, adjust the reflection so that you can see the upper part of the ear, the middle part of the ear and the lower part of the ear. These are areas where melanoma can hide. Do the same on the other ear as well. Look at them systematically. Once you've done the ears, you can also use a handheld mirror to look at the top of your head. It's surprising. With a bit of practice, you can systematically examine the scalp. If you've got a lot of hair, unlike me, you need to part the hair systematically to look at areas through the scalp. As well as looking, remember to feel the scalp. Some people pick up their melanomas because they notice a new lump. Run your hand through your hair and cover all of the scalp. Do it systematically and don't miss any. If you feel a new lump, go and see your doctor. If you've got a partner or a good friend, it's a lot easier, particularly to look at those bits that you can't see very well by yourself. That's your scalp, the back and your feet. I'd like to introduce Ali, who's Terry's partner. Ali's going to show you how to examine the back and the scalp and the legs. We'll start with the back. Examine the back systematically, zone by zone. Ali's going to start with the upper back and neck. If you've got long hair, lift the hair up to look at the back of the neck. Ali will look across the top of the shoulders, the upper back, the middle back, and then the lower back. And perhaps lower the undergarment slightly to see those areas that are covered. Once we've done the back, we're now going to do the scalp. If you've got a pencil, it makes it a lot easier. The pencil can be used to part the hair. Look systematically. Start at one side and work your way down and round. Ali's going to work her way around the side and the back, systematically parting the hair and working her way down towards the neck. Then she'll move to the other side of his scalp, again starting at the top, parting the hair, systematically working her way down past the ear. Remember as well to look behind the ears. Take the ear, bend it forward. You're looking particularly at the crease between the ear and the scalp. Look at the upper part and the middle part and then the lower part. Do the same on the other ear as well. Just bend it forward, pull the hair back, look at the upper, middle and lower part of the back of the ear and the scalp. Once you've done that, don't forget to do the top of the scalp as well. Do it in the same way. Perhaps work from the back, parting the scalp and moving forward. As well as looking, remember to feel the scalp. Feel through all the scalp systematically. Cover all of the area. Don't forget the top. When you've done the scalp, do the feet next. Look at the soles. And don't forget the spaces between the toes. When you examine the sole of the foot, again be methodical. Go from the front or the back or the back to the front, but look at all of it. Be careful and thorough. Once you've done the sole, look at the spaces between the toes. This, as I've mentioned before, is a sneaky area where melanoma can hide. Part the web, the toes, and look at every single space. Once you've done one foot, go and do the other one in exactly the same way. Remember, a system and methodical examination is the way not to miss anything. Again, we're going to look at the spaces between the toes. So part the toes and have a look at all of them. 
take your time. So we've shown you how to examine your own skin using household objects. Terry and Ali, thank you for being our volunteers today on behalf of the Melanoma Foundation. Remember, if you see a new mole or a mole that's been there for a while and has changed, don't delay, go to your doctor immediately. Melanoma is completely curable if it's caught early. Thank you. Thank you.